You guys, we just landed here in Zurich. Uh, the busiest train station in the world is right behind us, which is the one we just came out of. Now we're gonna be walking all back in here. And more trains, of course. Tons of pedestrians, super excited to go explore the city. Check into our hostel, fly out to KL tomorrow. Anyways, should be super fun. Eric, say hi. What's up? Anyways, talk to you guys later. We must be international again, because it's McDonald's. <laughs> we made a list of hilarious things that we wanted to point out about Barcelona and Switzerland. Number one, never cross the road without looking both ways if there's cars around three times. Barcelona. Number uh, two. What do you eat in Barcelona? Bread. Yeah, bread. 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 Ham. Bread. Ham. And ham. Bread. Bread and ham. What does everyone go out to dinner for? Tapas, pretty much. Tapas. Yeah. And what is in the tapas? Bread and ham. Tapas. The wine can be super good and super cheap. I don't know this from experience. Do you know this from experience? Yeah. Everyone told me it was good. It's like two, three euros a bottle. Yeah. Crazy. It's pretty good. There is a building that's been being built for 108 years, and the architect has been dead for 90 years. They're still building it. They're Barcelona time it. is like the slow-mo in my videos. Yeah. It's not like real life. No one's on time to anything. There is no bedtime in Barcelona. I'm, I'm fairly confident that no one sleeps. If you do plan to visit Barcelona, learn Spanish or Catalan. Switzerland, things that we've learned. Well, what can you buy in Switzerland? Pretty much just watches. Watches. Just came watches. And chocolate. Yeah, on the way through the airport we passed at least 
14 watch ads. Nope. And the other two ads was chocolate. Yeah, or bangs. Yes, bangs and chocolate. <laughs> we had this guy come out of a train and he was like, literally the train landed, doors opened, he came out and was like, hey, can we get help with yeah. directions? He just wanted directions. And like the door closed and we were like, Holy He's like, shit. sorry, bye. We gotta get on this train. We had to like run. We had no idea when it was gonna leave. Yeah. Every single city is like on a lake and a river and it's beautiful. And because of that, the weather is insane. It's like a meteorologist nightmare. It's like rain, sun, cloud, rain, sun, cloud, rain, cloud, sun. Every Swiss city is basically the same. River meets a lake, bunch of bridges, bunch of clock towers mountains in the background, and a bunch of angry swans. They love ringing their bells. They like clocks and bells in Switzerland. 3 a.m. they ring it, 3.15 they ring it, 3.30 they ring it. All in all, Barcelona and Switzerland are absolutely amazing. I want to come back to both. I like Zurich the best so far in Switzerland. Cheers to our Malaysian adventure that continues tomorrow. Boom. A lot of people speak English super plus. Germans are really aggressive and it's kind of scary sometimes. Bratwurst here is unreal. It's way better than anything I've had in the States. Generally, it's really nice. Kind of reminds me of Orange County here in Zurich. Bells, 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 bells. Adios. Adios. Really? It's the final countdown. We're getting ready to get on our last train here in Switzerland before heading to Malaysia. It is 9.10 a.m. and the 9.11 train here is right on time. It is 9.11 a.m. The train is moving. <laughs> we are in the Zurich airport just getting ready to board our flight to Malaysia and I wanted to go over maybe some of my favorite things from Barcelona and Switzerland and Chamonix, France. Um, number one, Switzerland, everything is on time, which is really awesome. It's been really cool to you know, be able to rely on schedules and whatnot. The coffee everywhere is pretty much amazing. Um, I can't really get a ton of bulletproof food, but Switzerland was a lot easier because there's more English speakers, so I could order specific things that I wanted, although it was extremely expensive. I think the train rides are actually my favorite part of everything in Barcelona and Switzerland. Maybe it's because I haven't been on like continental trains before, like really smooth ones like they have in Switzerland. And, just getting the beautiful views and being able to mastermind with this guy over here was super fun and, and being able to do that on the train we had like the most intense conversations and, and that was a blast. It's been a very interesting month, a lot of transformation, um, a lot of sleep deprivation. But the interesting thing I noticed about this particular trip is normally at the end of a trip you know you feel you have this kind of sense, there's the bells again, this is Switzerland of course, you get the sense at the end of a trip that you know, it's over and you're kind of sad and you have to go back to, you know, normal reality. You know, occasionally when I go on a trip, I get that sense. On this particular trip, I don't actually have that. A lot has changed and I feel like coming back to Kuala Lumpur, it's a little bit of this new feeling, this new beginning, because we're coming back into something. A lot of exciting things are going on in July at Mine Valley. A lot of exciting things are going on. Uh, you know, I'm traveling with Skip. He's going to be there for that chunk of time. Other friends are going to be there during that chunk of time. So it's kind of like, and I've been away from Malaysia for so long, for a few weeks now, that it feels like something new again. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to be back. Malaysia. 